Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to avoid and what is open candy. Now, open candy is simple. Open candy is when you try and install a program, for example, uTorrent or uh, ImageBurn or Crystal Disk or whatever, uh, like um, Snapfish, um, any other programs and it's bundled with third party software now this third party software is 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 identified as PUP now a PUP which is short for pup which is spelled pup is basically third party software that is potentially unwanted programs so it stands for potentially unwanted programs now these programs um, they might not be even programs, they might just be add-ons. And I'm going to be showing you like examples of them and then I'm going to be showing you how to remove it. So here, say I wanted to install uTorrent. I'll double click on the uTorrent setup, wait for the administrative privileges to come up. I'll check yes and then I'll see, there you go, hit yes. And then I'll see, I'll get my setup uh, come up, here it is. Wait for it to load a bit. There you go. So now we have the uTorrent installation wizard. Wizard. And if you click next, next, and then you click uh, I ex I agree. You create a desktop icon. You whatever you do that, and then you'll get this a BitTorrent bundle. Don't know what that is. And then it's automatically checked on. Yes, I'd love to check this download. Out. You want to uncheck it. You don't want this. This is a PUP. Now this will probably infect your PC with uh, God knows what. It'll probably be malware, toolbars, unwanted add-ons, programs. I know that some of these potentially unwanted programs or files contain like fake antivirus and you may fall for this so this video just goes to show how why I don't know why people do this um, the reason that potentially unwanted programs exist is be because people want revenue now uTorrent um, uTorrent is a company um, it's a company and then um, so this is how it works. uTorrent is a company, you know, it's it's um down it's letting free downloads of uTorrent. And then um say something like BitTorrent comes in. I know that they're the same, but I'm just using like a random name. BitTorrent comes in and it says, Hey uTorrent, if I pay you, will you put this on to your program for people to download? That's basically a uh, Oh, this that's basically open candy, open software, pretty much. So let's close out of the setup and open up Image Burn. This is one of the most common ones. Um, I know that there is a screen recorder called Cam Studio, and that is just filled with malware, not malware, PUPs. Already, it looks dodgy enough, so I'm just gonna click next. And then here we can see Open Candy End User License Agreement. So these are the important notice. You just click yes, I accept to the terms. But people don't read this. They don't. They don't read it. So here we go. This is where you're going to be installing Image Burn and Open Candy, third-party software that is junk. So you click it. You go. And make sure you click the custom. Next. 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 And then already you get this junk which you don't need. Spark browser. I don't want to do that. Uncheck it. Is your PC AVG performance? I don't want it. Uncheck it. So that is pretty much it. I mean like I don't know. Open handy is really annoying. It's one of the annoyingest things out there. It's what slows down your computers and just there'll either be a deny button or like and um, like to uncheck so that there is a program that I found and um, I thank um Brightech for this video because he made a video you can go check out his videos he is what ins he is who inspires me to do these videos so that there's this program called unchecking now this will be in the description down below there we go. So here, here it can say, have you ever felt while installing software, so uTorrent for example, ImageBorn, that the installer tries to push additional unwanted programs at all cost? 
ever missed a checkbox and spent hours afterwards removing adware that's basically what it contains a malware adware um, ever open your browser and you'll get a new home page like super fast search uh, i search 123s one of the most used a new search engine a new browser uh, uncheck your aims to keep potential unwanted programs out of your computer so all you want to do is click download and there'll be a direct download and i'll show you how simple unchecky is to install it's literally like c cleaner it's one of these very easy to use simplest installation processes so you select your language click install hit yes wait for it to install and there we go that's it service is up and running and there you have it we have the program it's also running in the background and checky okay so the service is up and running uh, just recent recently installed and there's no data so what we're going to do is open up the uTorrent setup again and we'll have a look if unchecky did its job and uh, protected us from the potentially unwanted programs now this software is useful to have because you never know when you're when you're installing something and you're in a rush or like you're you've been busy and you just click next 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 or you're just too lazy just to read through it uh, I've got to admit it's been I've it happened to me a couple of times so I'm gonna hit next next ne I agree there we go unchecky a potentially unwanted offer was just rejected so there we go that was defaultly ticked and when you try and check it here you can see you're about to install a potentially unwanted program are you sure you want to proceed deny there we go and it'll be the same for image burn image burn is full of this junk and so is cam studio i'll make a separate video on this here we go open candy again you hit accept all right go back a sec custom No, I probably already did it, but you get the idea. I've done it without checking the checkboxes. But that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you can avoid it. And if we go into the um, Unchecky app, you can see since uh, the date, one checkbox, once warning was shown, you can see here. I recommend you saving these logs uh, so you can you know what's what's happened. You know you get all of these and check boxes, things like that. But you know, hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, want to do a shout out to Bright Tech again. He makes amazing quality videos, so go check him out. He's what inspires me to do YouTube. So keep doing what you're doing, man. Love your videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.